So let's let's maybe settle into that conversation around parent advocacy a little okay. bit, right? Okay. Um, so we know that whether it's the education system, health system, or any of our other public institutions, mm -hmm. um, speaking up for oneself is important to mm -hmm. make sure that you're getting what you need from our publicly funded institutions. Mm -hmm. um, when it comes to the education system, mm -hmm. can you talk a little bit about some maybe examples or stories um, of where parent advocacy is, uh, is typically needed? and maybe, maybe where parent advocacy is typically needed for newcomer and immigrant parents? The one that first comes to mind is just in terms of charting a student's career path through the high school system, right? So a student comes in to our high school system at grade nine, they're usually 14, and this, this career planning happens, right? There's yeah. grade nine, grade 10, and as you go higher in the grades, you have more elective choices and you start you know, trying to figure out, well, what do I want to do after high school? How do we make sure that I have the courses here and that I'm set up for success to get into whatever kind of post-secondary training or job or apprenticeship or university or college, right? right? And so that entire pathway has to be charted. And 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 of course, through adolescence, students are learning about themselves, so they may not know in grade nine what they want to do. Yeah. But But what you're trying to do in high school is help them figure that out. And parents are really, really key in that. And the extent to which parents understand that system and the extent to which they understand all of the, all of the assistance that's there in the schools, including guidance, right, student services and other things, um, and can access those services, they can help chart that pathway. And like in anything in life, the clearer your sense of the goal, the better you can make the choices that'll get you to the goal. Mm -hmm. And many of our students don't have that. And many of those parents aren't particularly well equipped to figure that out either. So it is where multicultural liaisons is for sure bridge, they help bridge that gap.